Don't hold on, think fast, don't get your ass low. I'll ask down fast, just chop the stuff. Speed don't crash, don't throw my fat. I don't get no cash, you get caught, you gon' die. Hey, I got my eyes, bitch, I'm that wide. That wasn't on shit. Like these little niggas that he took out, they was on something too. Like little little um Lil Monty on one of the on the couch interviews from B Lil Monty from BKN on on one of the on the couch interviews. Merchant, like, yeah, I got three bodies. I'm up three. You know what I'm saying? So it's like these little niggas was on the same shit that Lil Jeff was on. But Lil Jeff was just catching their ass, you know? So um so yeah, Monty from BKN is number nine, and then Lil Rob from BKN is number ten. The whole time, Lil Jeff recently been online like, no, nah, I got eleven now. So whole time, it was a shooting over there, in No Limit territory. One of the um, one of the No Limits, one of the older No Limits. One of the old No Limits got took out this shit. And, you know, motherfuckers popped out, motherfuckers pulled up, popped out, goddammit. You know, one of the old No Limits was coming outside of the liquor store. There's a liquor store over there called Happy's. They shut that motherfucker down now, but it was a liquor store over there called Happy's. And, you know, one of the old No Limbs, Ty, I believe his name is, got killed. You know, right in front of the liquor store, either inside of the liquor store or as he was walking outside the liquor store. And Lil Jeff been online before he died. He was online claiming that shit like, yeah, nigga, that was us, you know. And then, you know, DJ, you asked him about that shit in the, in, in the interview he did with him. And you could tell that nigga, that shit struck a nerve to Lil Jeff, you know. And he got to being sarcastic and shit. Acting like he ain't know why that motherfucker got shut down the whole time. If you know what you know, he the reason that bitch got shut down. So that's why he got the acting all sarcastic. Like, damn, they shut Happy's down? Man, they ain't never shut Happy's down. Like, he got the, you know, trolling and shit the whole time. Nigga, he the reason they shut that bitch down. Like, they killed that nigga, uh, that nigga Ty up in that bitch. And they shut that motherfucker down. So, you know, now mind you, Another thing that DJU asked him when he was on that interview, the famous interview where he broke the perk down and sniffed the perk up his nose for the whole world to see, Meek Mill them responded to that shit. Lil Jeff responded to Meek like, bro, your ass a fucking goofy. The whole time, that same interview um, where he broke the perk down and sniffed the perk and the shit went viral. The same interview where DJU asked him about Happy's, the liquor store that got closed down, Lil Jeff get the trolling, like, yeah, I ain't even know Happy's got shut down. Whole time, nigga, he the, nigga, Lil Jeff, no, he the, he killed the nigga in Happy's, and that's the reason why they shut that bitch down, because it's like, nigga, a motherfucker just got killed up, right up in this bitch, like, they end up shutting this bitch down. So, whole time, another thing that DJ, you asked him is about, you know, the viral, Instagram videos of Lil Jeff hopping on that motherfucker talking about, yeah, how he taking niggas to killing school and how niggas had got to have at least two bodies to enroll. Like, hey, like, phone them on that bitch, like, yeah, you know, you know, I'm, I got some shit called killing school or whatever, 
you know what I'm saying? The only way you can enroll is if you already got two bodies and then you can go ahead and enroll and shit like that. And God damn it, you know, I'm going to show motherfuckers uh, how to do this shit for real. So, uh, you know, that's I just wanted to point that out before I move on, before I move on and shit. So the whole time, like, that shit crazy from the motherfucking breaking the perk down and sniffing the perk on DJU live camera rolling footage. Then to the happy situation, he acting like he ain't know the motherfucking liquor store got shut down the whole time. He know he just killed the motherfucker up in there, and he the reason that bitch got shut down all the way to the killing school shit. Like, this nigga over here, like, yeah. And at this point, he got 11 bodies because it's like that happy situation that was considered his number 11. We going to talk about how he got killed trying to catch his 12th. This nigga got killed trying to kill. We're going to talk about that shit in a second. But whole time, motherfuckers going to go in order. You know, I want to talk about, you know, before we get to that, you know, that last that last situation, I want to talk about them two boys. Them two boys, the two brothers from BKN. Because the, so, bro say that he got 10 or 11, but whole time, we only, re- like, I just named off all of them, but whole time, like, the the one the the situations like the it's only three of them that made it like that got mass media coverage. You know, he say he got eleven, but it's only three of them that got mass media coverage. The two boys from BKN and the happy situation over there at the, the liquor store and shit like that. But outside of, you know, them three whole time, them other eight ain't really get like super media attention like that. But he definitely got them 10 tip drops on the back of his motherfucking uh, neck. The whole time, the, the shorties around the city, them that half the shorties over there in that area, all the little killing, all the little murderous ass little niggas that he was into it with, all they asses, like it's Christmas to them right now. So it's like, that mixed with them tip drops on the back of his neck is like, it's a form of confirmation. Like, yeah, bro, he did that shit, bro. You know, and just him talking about that killing school shit like that and how a motherfucker got to have at least two bodies to him. Like, when nigga talk like that, it's like, yeah, bro, you know. It's like the same shit when Vaughn said, and you ain't a killer if you ain't if you only got two bodies. Like, when a nigga get to talking like that, you got to know that, all right, if he's saying you only, a, you, he, if he's saying you not a killer if you only got two bodies, you can't come out your mouth with no shit like that if you ain't just you if your count ain't really like that if your count not really like that you can't talk like that you know unless you fronting your shit and you know in this damn age sometimes it do be hard to tell who fronting their shit and who not fronting their shit but if you really got an eye for this shit like I do on phone them I got a real eye for knowing who fronting their shit and who not fronting their shit it's like you can tell I could tell Vaughn was in front of his shit. And with this little Jeff shit, it's like certain shit that he say, I could tell he not front of his shit. But, um, so we gonna talk about BKN, them, the last two shorties. So the whole time, I guess little Jeff was cool with these little niggas or something at one point, because, you know, for, you know, to steal some watches, you gotta be around the motherfucker. Like, you ain't just finna steal no watches unless you break up in the motherfucker crib or something. But that wasn't the case. Like, like whole time, Lil Jeff had some sort of relationship with these niggas at some point in time. And, you know, two, like, the, the two little niggas, like, the two shorties from BKN, Monty from BKN, and Lil Ralph from BKN, you know, I guess they ran off with Lil Jeff watches. Whole time they ran off with his watches. And the nigga Lil Jeff knew that these niggas uh, was going to school, like knew where they went to school at and all that shit. And he pulled up and this like in a motherfucking crowded area, bro. It's like hella cars, busy area, bro. 12 be over there, all, all type of shit. Short his ass pulled up to the uh, these little nigga school when they ass got out. You know, or pulled up like right around. He pulled up by the train. You know, I don't know if these little niggas like he ain't pulled up right to the school. He pulled up uh, like around the block from the school, a few blocks away from the school and shit like that. Like it was by like a area where the train ran over. So I don't know if he knew these niggas 
routine. Like, all right, they get out of school, then they walk around the block and get on the train or some sh- I don't know. But this nigga pulled up to where these motherfuckers was at by the train, crowded ass area, and popped out the car and ran up on Shorty. And Shorty and them, they was with a crowd of kids that they had, they all just came from school. It was the two little BKN niggas, and it was a whole bunch of the other kids that went to the same school. They, they was all over there. Lil Jeff must have popped out the car, ran up to the crowd of kids, and just unloaded. Like, he knew who he wanted. He ain't shoot none of the other kids. He unloaded on the, on the brothers. And, you know, he stood over them, and he ran back to the car, and motherfuckers got up out of there. And, you know, DJ, you asked him about that shit. Because, you know, it went viral. Everybody know that Shorty and them died, and then, you know, motherfuckers slightly also knew that Lil Jeff got took for some watches. Like, motherfuckers, like, slightly knew about that shit. And the whole time, like, DJ, you asked him about that shit, and Lil Jeff up in that bitch trolling, like, yeah, some niggas rolled off, some niggas ran off with my watches, but the whole time, I just took my look and kept on moving, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, shit. Like, I can get me some more watches type shit. Like, you know, that shit wasn't about nothing. I just took that L. Like, he was on that bitch like, man, they took my shit. You know, I just took my L, you know. Of course, he ain't get up on that bitch. Like, the way that these niggas moving, you wouldn't be shit. It wouldn't surprise me if he did, if he would have hopped up on that bitch and just admitted to it. But he was on some plan, trying to at least play it smooth when it came to that situation because his ass was like, man, I just took my L, bro. They ran off with the watches. I just took my L and shit like that. But whole time, everybody watching this interview know that them little niggas dead. Them niggas, like the same nigga that you, the same two niggas that you seen ran off with your watches, them niggas died a few months ago. I brought some money out. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Little phone, them overstuff my blood.